What's up, what's up, what's up, family? What's going on? It's Coach Kair. Definitely appreciate all of y'all falling through. What's going on? Kim Lata. Thank you for joining me tonight. Nubian Naps, Maddie the Glue. Carly. That's right. You getting ready to eat you some. I got to do something too. Mr. Rice Worldwide. If you if you down with T-bone steaks. What's up, Chocolate Monkey? If you down with vegetables, if you're down with zucchini and squash, go ahead and start tapping that screen. Let me see you show some love for the zucchini for the knife game. There's Leo the Empress. Thank you. Yes, and please invite your followers too because we're going to talk about the full moon tonight while I do some healthy cooking. Does that sound like y'all something that y'all interested in? Yeah. Switch over here. So, um... Goddess Mother Chrome, what's up, Ma? I ain't seen you in a minute. Glad to see you back on the team. I thought you had abandoned me for another astrologer. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, where's Goddess Mother Chrome at? So, um, what I'm about to do is... Well, let me show you what I... Okay, like, this is kind of like... I guess I should have put pre-Thanksgiving in there. Oh, thank you. So, this is my crock pot. So I'm making a little something for tomorrow. This is my crock pot. Got two hours and 47 minutes left on it. Yes. And I know some of y'all be like, coach is kind of big, he got the Buddha belly. That's because I take care of myself. Now, I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of my house. Like right above this is me working on memorizing my miracle prayer. Working on my goal for my personal, um, my goal, my my goal for moon magic, getting my definite purpose together. Yeah, see, a definite purpose. It's really important. Right now, I'm so happy and grateful that I have full possession of the great power of my own personal mind. It feels so wonderful to be living my definite purpose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, what's up, Brooklyn? I mean, oops. By Nikki G. That's it. By Nikki G. I got to get it together. Then I'm always got my, I got my affirmations around. So when I'm in here cooking, I got affirmations to the right. I'm winning the wealth game. Create my life. I create the exact amount of my financial success. Lucrative opportunities always come my way. And then I'm working on learning the Anabakoa. You know, working on that. So, and then, pow, the crock pot is like right here. And someone donated this crock pot to me. They won it on Facebook and then told them to send it to Kair. And it smells so delicious. And I'm going to open it up just a second so I can get a quick stir on. Hi. Hey, Nikki. So um, this is a lamb stew that I'm preparing for tomorrow. And I just went and picked up some more lamb because I didn't have enough in here. I might have company. I might not. So in here, you'll notice that we have carrots, onions, carrots, onions, okra, and green peppers, and special sauce. I mean, special spices. And lamb. Oh, oh, oh. And a lot of curry. I got a lot of curry in this right here. So it's kind of like a curry lamb stew. And she just, she just taking her time doing what she do. Yes, Beast Mode Bodies, what's up, baby? I got that lamb over here. Nikki, you ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. It's a full moon. You scared to come over here. Y'all can't, look, thou shalt not lie on a full moon, okay? (laughs) Don't lie on a full moon. Pescatarian. I don't know what that is. What's a pescatarian? That's a person who lies on the full moon? What's a pescatarian? I'm trying to get the clip down. All right. Just did my last ritual. Oh, seafood only. Man, if you eat shrimp, then you're not a pescatarian. You eat pork. Okay? (laughs) You eat some of this lamb right here. You'll come around. Let me shut that down. 
You just walk in the house. Come on over, Star. You know you want to come through here. And Finny, I might open up the night if you come over. Okay. Bam. All right. And so now I'm about to... to but tonight's meal is going to be a steak. I'm going to cook one for me, one for my ancestors. I've already got some vegetables already started. I'm going to stir fry these with some onions and green peppers. And then I'm going to make some rice. Yeah, you earl when you ate somebody else's lamb. It wasn't my lamb. Okay? So, get it together. I need to find my stand for my phone. So, I don't have to keep on. Yeah. So, I don't have to keep carrying. Because I'm going to need two hands for what I'm about to do. I'm about to get real busy. But I want to talk to y'all tonight about this full moon in Gemini. Y'all want to hear about the full moon in Gemini? If anybody wants to hear about the full moon in Gemini and what you need to be doing, please tap the screen. Give me about 25 hearts and then press 1. If you want to hear about full moon. Yes, sir. Okay, give me about 25 or 50 hearts. It ain't going to hurt you. Get your finger exercise on. Yes, please. I know Carly just is not shy about <laughs> about receiving things. She is an excellent receiver, y'all. If y'all ever in Nottingham, you better y'all y'all better look up Carly. Okay, everybody, hold on for a second while I mount up. Um, yeah. All right. All righty. So. Uh, only basmati rice too. So we're gonna do some basmati rice. I'm running a little low on my basmati. Kitchen king. Kitchen king basmati rice. Yeah. Always get the big, which is a 10 pound bag. Yeah. And um, then we're going to have Where's my turmeric at? Pow. I always add my turmeric to my basmati. It's getting ready to get popping up in here. Okay. What'd you say? Nah, it's, it's empty. It ain't, ain't nothing happening. My roommate come here. The smell brought all the way out of the room talking about is there anything in there? Mm -mm. Nope, none at all. It's, it always smells like that in the kitchen. Okay, so uh, full moon in Gemini. I'm going to set this right here. Pow. Set this right here while I get prepared. Steak tonight, veggies, rice. I need to get the pot. I'm sure y'all want to come. So, um, one thing I want to talk about the full moon first is this is not the releasing moon. A lot of people always want to do something. And they want, and they don't know the difference between a new moon and a full moon. You can't do the same ritual for the full moon that you did that that, that you just did for for the for the uh, new moon. Why do people do that? What's up, Eric? I don't understand. Yes, I do understand. I know that people do things because, or they say they want to do things because they want to skip steps. So this video is about don't skip steps. Um, I get, I don't know, I, I don't get as frustrated anymore when I see people skipping steps. But I do my blabs and I do my periscopes and I do my Facebook stuff. So people won't be at the mercy of people who skip steps. And they're like, they're always doing the same ritual. Somebody just told me earlier, they were like, why don't you do, you know, a full moon ritual about releasing this and releasing that? You don't release on a full moon. That's a new moon activity. So tonight's energy is all about filling up. It says full. So then fill up. Why would you want to be... Uh, right. And what does the harvest do? 
The harvest lets you fill up. You fill up your coffers, right? You fill up your belly. You, you go and you get it out of the field. You planted it in the field. You cleared everything out. So now, so now it's time for you to get it out of get it out of the field. It's time to fill up the barn, right? Fill up the barn. Don't let somebody tell you, oh, it's time to clear away. Fasting, this is the worst time of the month for fasting. During a full moon. Are you serious? Why? Why? And who told you that? No, no, no. Don't tell me who told you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. So let's fill up. And also the full moon is all about let's do it. Let's just do it like Nike. This is the time for action. This is the time for Ogun. This is the time to get your gun and go outside and shoot up in the air. Right. Act. This is an excellent time for sex. Of course. I know some of y'all are like, oh, it's an excellent time for sex all month. Sometimes during the month, you should um, you should abstain. You know? I'm also going to wash my bottom. I'm going to wash my rice first. I'm not going to double boil it tonight, but I am going to wash it. Okay. So we're going to wash the rice first. Star Mars, what's up, baby? No, I have not heard anything from Infinii yet. Even though you might, you might have, you could have getting ready to ask, or you might not. But I'm just letting you know. Um, so this full moon in Gemini, the best thing for you to do. Then now, what is the sign of Gemini about? Gemini is all about communication. It's about siblings. It's about short trips. So a lot of people will be on the highway. Um, going and traveling tonight to see their loved ones. So, and I'm action tonight. Full moon rituals. Give your ancestors a steak. See, that's action. That means I'm full of abundance. I got candles sitting right outside, soaking up full moon light. And all of the things that I need to be doing are about to start coming in. I mean, they're already coming into fruition, but what is it that some of you have been waiting on like the last two weeks? What if you, I want some of you all to talk to me and tell me what are some of the things that you've been working on over the last two weeks that you would, that you know you need to take action on? Come on, speak up. Come on. What, it, what have you all been working on over the last two weeks that right now, Princess Princess 0611, you must be a Gemini. You must 611, I bet you that's June 11. I need roll call in here too. We skip roll call. So I'm Team Taurus representing Atlanta. Everybody, please, let's do roll call real quick before you tell me what you've been manifesting. So I'm Team Taurus Atlanta. Miss Princess, um, we know you're Team Gemini. You just have to tell us what city so you're going to type in team gemini and whatever city you're from or currently staying in team sag in columbus team gemini in indy team sag in compton oh goddess mother crone i'm coming to la in february baby yeah team team gemini bridgeport connecticut thank you thank you thank you sun leo moon gemini in the nola I I I Scorpio in Nottingham down there in the Nola. I want to know cuz people always just have we must break bread. Absolutely. And that means you can cook for me. I don't we don't have to go to the restaurant. I come to somebody's town they always want to take me. Scorpio Atlanta. I always want to take me out to eat. Uh I be in New York in May, maybe earlier but for sure that weekend if anybody's in Brooklyn, New Jersey, Bridgeport, Connecticut, all of that, I'll be up there in May. And I eat. If you cook it, I eat it. So, um, that's no good. You left before we met. Bummer, dude. It's all good. Um, also, later on tonight, I'm going to be doing a blab. All that king talk. 
I told you about that last time. It's going to get you everywhere. I'm draining the rice. This is a really, really simple process. <sighs> Compliments, boy. I'm telling you. So basically, this is probably like the fifth time. Just run some water in there. Stir it up to get the starch off of it. Let the water get a little cloudy. Push it back from the edge. And then pour it off. So I don't want y'all to think he's just an astrologer. No, I can cook too. Woo! Boy, my sushi game is critical. And I'm not bragging. My Aunt Maggie said no brag, just fact. Yeah, my sushi. I at one time I was eating sushi like making sushi like twice a week for myself at the house. Yes, I do know how to roll sushi. I roll a mean sushi. Listen. That ain't all y'all do is cook. Kelly Lynn Prime is in the building. Kelly, I'm in here washing my basmati rice. Getting ready to cook some veggies. And uh, I got a, cooking a plate for the ancestors. I got a, uh, some T-bone steaks. So one's going to the ancestors and one's going to me. This is an excellent night to give your ancestors beef. On full moons, excellent night. You want to give them a vegetarian plate? Give them a vegetarian plate on a new moon. But right now they want some food, right? So my water's boiling. And now I'm about to put my uh, turmeric. Did I put the turmeric back in the cabinet? Maybe I did. Yeah, I did. Smashing what? I hope y'all talking about smashing. Hold on. Switch over. Smashing some food, I think. I hope y'all just got finished smashing some food, Kelly. Yes, it is good for the digestion. I mean, inflammation. Excuse me. Turmeric does a whole lot of stuff. And I'm running out. So I got to get some more. So I always bring my water to a boil first. And then uh, I just use canola oil, salt, just a little salt. Alicia is in the building. Yeah. Alicia, I'm making my um, basmati rice. I do use canola oil. I do not use olive oil. And I did start one of my earlier rituals today. It takes It's a three-day ritual. I had to get some red wine. I don't drink. So if you are coming over tonight, you can finish this bottle. I only needed three ounces. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, Alicia, Alicia. I got to get it together. Yes. So, um, Alicia, I told you the veggies are getting chopped. And then the steak is over there. All right, so now that I can add my rice and let that go on while I chop my veggies up, I'm frozen. Three ounces for what? Ooh. Um, I'm starting a, a defense against the dark arts. Alicia, if I'm frozen, you might want to log out and then come back. Yes, Alicia, you're back. And I hopefully I'm unfrozen. Thank you all for the hearts. Ah. Uh, uh. Well, it's an ongoing ritual uh, that I haven't done in a while. But this weekend when I was in the, uh, my workshop with Dr. Uh, Master Mitchell Gibson, I had, a, I had a sign, I received a sign I'm supposed to get back on this particular practice. And so sometimes ritual is just not one ritual. Ritual can last for months. 
And this particular ritual is for removing dark aspects in your life. And when I do this, I get tons and tons of, uh, of, of excellent results. I think this is enough veggies right here for like today. Not necessarily, it's sort of like in the line of a banishing ritual, but it's more, it's more high power. But I won't do it tonight because it's a full moon. And so just even prepping, what I'm prepping with the wine takes three, it has to sit outside in the sun for three days. So I started it because I wanted it to like gather big energy. So when I do go into it, it'll be that much more successful. Um, I'm not cutting up any more veggies. Yeah, I'm gonna cut up one more. All right, so let's talk about this full moon first for a second. Please, please, please share this with your followers. Share this with your family. We're getting ready to get down to the nitty, nitty gritty. Cutting the sword, Mars action, getting down with it is a full moon activity. Okay? That's a full moon activity. Oh, honey, honey, come on. I, we hadn't even got there yet. I'm, I got you. I got you. Don't you worry about the onions and the peppers and, and all of that good stuff. That's going to be happening. So as I'm carving, I am going into my... I'm just thinking about things that need to get cut. I'm thinking about um, things in my life that I'm harvesting and bringing to me. In my mind, I am celebrating all of my achievements this um, this month. These two, in this 28-day cycle. Does anybody know that I do moon magic? Moonmagic28.info. Can I get someone to please type that into the little chat area right there? And we are in the we are in the full moon doing phase. And like I say, this is all about action. And action by what you speak. Your word is your bond. Full moon in Gemini means my word is my bond. Don't just talk about it, be about it. If you said something to someone, then right after that you should go ahead and keep your word. This is not the time for Thank you, Goddess Mother Crone. It's not the time for shallow promises or things like that. Also, if somebody threatens you during this time, you should take it serious, right? Because they are taking it very seriously. So, rice is coming along wonderfully. So now I'm about to season the steak first. And I put the steak down, I always put my meat down, then I put my veggies down after that. Oh. And I'm not gonna do too much on the uh, too much seasoning on the meat. I don't want to take away from it. Sometimes I get kind of heavy, heavy-handed on my seasoning. But tonight I'm not gonna take it easy. Take it easy. What? Take it easy. What? Yeah, they're gonna get the bigger one. I'm gonna get the smaller one. Know what? What do you what do you what are you knowing about? Are you knowing? I hope you ain't knowing about this steak. A little salt and pepper is just fine, King. I think you need to come. I think you need to come on over here and show me what you show me what you're working with. You know, you know that song. Show me what you're working with. I like. I used to broil steaks all the time too. My daddy used to love. Oh man, he would like that. You know what? I will. Let's get the broil going tonight. Let's get the broil popping off tonight. That was the, like, I was raised, I wasn't even, I wasn't even putting steaks, like, on the, like, I was doing them on the grill sometimes, but my father would always, always broil his steaks. Your seasoning is in your vegetables and rice. 
I think you need to call me later so we can talk about this because you you got all the you got all the right tips. Less season in the steak. You are absolutely right. But he did like to put um he did like to hit it with the butter, but I'm gonna use canola oil tonight. Uh do you have my math? Yes. Cause my battery's about to die too, so I don't have a cord. So I'm, this is gonna have to be like switched over. So please text me and let me know that we can touch bases when I get finished so I can get my cooking lesson. 336-587-1215. 336-587-1215. Yes. Put this back over here. All right, so since my battery is giving me indicators, I just want to just give y'all that last, that last little piece, um, just that little, just just a little bit about. Ooh, I just love massaging my meat like that, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, this full moon, mean what you say and say what you mean. Do something. Do not do the same thing that you were doing during the new moon. The new moon is clearing. The full moon is doing action. I can't do nothing without you. That's why. That's 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 that's, that's why you need to. I need all these rules, tools and jewels, you know. But it's gonna pop off though. I think it's gonna come out good. Send me a friend and send me a Facebook friend request, please. So I can like see what you got going on in your world. I haven't seen you broadcasting on here. Can I use lemon pepper? Can I have can I just put some lemon pepper and some oregano on it? How about that? Is that okay? I think that's gonna be good. Lemon pepper. <laughs> Nah, I'm putting some lemon pepper on you. I'm sorry. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. I don't use lemons either, but I like the taste of lemons. I like the taste of lemon pepper. Excuse me. Wow. I do limes, not lemons. You know I rock with Dr. Nardi. So, that's my tips for this evening. Um, I appreciate everybody who has tuned in to zoom in um, and build with me this evening. I look forward to Nikki giving me my lesson after I get up off of here. I want to use two hands now as I drop this in the broiler here in a second. Now the other one I'm going to do just like you said, I'm going to pat it dry because I'm going to make that one on top of the oven. All right, make one on top of the oven, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the other one in pan. Do it, do it on the pan, on the top. Okay, does that does that make sense? Okay, I hope so. All right, wherever you all are at tonight, I appreciate y'all joining me. Oh, I do have a, I should have made this announcement earlier, right? I am blabbing tonight, so you can go on blab and just look for Coach Kyrie around nine o'clock. Somewhere between 9 and 10. If you're following me on Twitter, then you will you will see me. Just that just that simple. If uh ooh, can I put some cilantro on the steak? How about that? So I'm gonna be blabbing. I'm not sure what my specific time. Probably be about men and how we communicate to women. You know, what's the best way to communicate with women? Yeah, I'm not. I just did this a little bit. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to put some oregano on this bad boy, too. On this good boy. Absolutely. Sprinkle. Sprinkle me. Sprinkle me. Yeah. One day I have about 500 people on here that be watching me cook. Or somebody be holding the camera for me. Bam! I need an assistant. Um, what else am I looking for? Oh. Oh! Oh! 
Can I put? Can I? Can I have Lowry's? Because I know you don't. You know you like let the, let the everything else. But I like Lowry's. Oh, you didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the oregano, and I'm gonna go with the Lowry's. Okay. All right. So, family, I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. You trying to tell me that all I can put on the steak is Black Queen Goddess? What's happening? Big shouts out to all my vegetarians as I prepare the steak tonight. I'm only putting a little bit of oregano on the steak, okay? So, and yes, she's nice and moistened with canola oil. I'm not putting. I'm. I'm just putting just a little bit on there. It's not. It's not. It's not soaked. Trust me. Listen to the spice capital of the world, New Orleans, is trying to tell somebody, don't put a lot of seasoning on something. Ain't that something? You go to New Orleans. What is that? The Cajun capital of the world is telling me, don't put a lot of seasoning on the steak. I love it. I'm going to listen and follow instructions, though. I ain't got no problem submitting. My spice comes from everything else. Okay. So you want me to spice up... Um, you want me to spice up the all, my veggies and my rice. Our meat is pure taste. Sure. I, I, hear, I, I hear that. That's not going to take long right there. Yeah, in a way, I think I do know what I'm doing. I'm going to just let it rock for 10 minutes on that side, then I'm going to flip it. So now, now I'm going to start the steak up here and the veggies. So, I love y'all. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be on Blab tonight, and then my, I got a show coming on probably like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Do you know what this means? Good. Thank you very much. Uh, Nikki, I'll talk to you in a second. The rest of y'all, I might do like a quick scope right before I blab to let y'all know I'm going on tonight. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. You'll be able to keep up. Um, go on my YouTube channel and see what me and Dr. B. Serious did the other day on blab. Bananas. It was about wealth. Thinking like wealth and talking to your subconscious mind. But your subconscious mind is what's blocking you up from getting the real money that you're supposed to be getting. All right? So, I'm going to holler at y'all soon. Peace.